First off, Teron, appreciate you taking the time. I know you're a busy man, you know, going through this process. I guess first, you know, just take me through your journey, Aiken, South Carolina, you know, small town, all the way, you know, close to the border of Georgia, man, and you get here to Coastal. Just your journey all throughout the, these years is what has really fueled you to get to this moment? Oh, man, I feel like it's a combination of things that uh, fuel me, man. The first is by far uh, my brother. Uh, like I say, man, my brother, football was always something that kind of kept us connected, man. And, you know, that love that we had, I feel like it still drives me now. Uh, he passed when I was nine, so that's one of the biggest things, my, one of my biggest driving factors, honestly, uh, for football. So him and definitely family. Um, growing up in a small town, Aiken, South Carolina, man, you know, uh, I started playing football again uh, my sophomore year in high school. Man, that, that was an amazing year. You know, we went to the state championship, got a chance to learn from a lot of those older guys, man. Um, took in a lot of knowledge, man, and then got an opportunity again my senior year to get, go to the state championship. Um, and that's when I kind of got, you know, kind of the buzz for some colleges. Uh, and that's when I committed to Coastal, man. I came to Coastal, man. The, the atmosphere, man, the culture was amazing, man. Coach Mold uh, really built, you know, the foundation for what Coach Chadwell has did now, man. So, you know, kudos to him. But, uh, you know, it's an amazing program. And you mentioned your brother. I mean, that's, you know, something that you've always spoken on in count, uh, countless interviews, man. Just if you had a chance to talk to him right now, you know, you're going through this process, just what would that conversation be like? Uh, I definitely just have to say that, that this started with him. Uh, you know, growing up, whenever he uh, got leukemia, seeing him go through the process, man, he never complained. He was always smiling, always trying to brighten somebody else's day. Uh, and I just kind of took that, you know, and, and, and imparted it to my own life, man, and, and uses my own philosophy. And then you mentioned, you know, your recruitment process. It really wasn't one that, you know, some <laughs> other kids might enjoy just, you know, yeah. not having that opportunity. Just how is it to have this opportunity now where you're going through the draft process, teams are hitting you up, they want you and everything, they talk about all the good things that you're doing. Just how special is it to have that now as opposed to not really having that coming out of high school? Um, it's amazing, man. Um, you know, coming out of high school, man, I tell everybody before uh, I committed to Coastal, I didn't have any stars. Uh, nobody really knew about me. Um, you know, when I talk to teams, you know, they tell me they had like five or six guys over me. Uh, you know, so it's amazing, you know, to have this opportunity now, you know, and to get a little bit of respect. Uh, but quite honestly, man, I still got a lot of work to do, um, you know, and, and I feel like my work is not done. You know, I still got a lot to prove. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this new opportunity that I'm about to get. And you mentioned coming here to Coastal. Obviously, you get here in 2016. You know, it's a lot of things going on. The transition yeah. to the FBS level yeah. from the F FCS level. I know just one thing I wanted to touch on when Coach Moglia officially stepped down and Coach Chadwell obviously came up in uh, the 2019 season. I, I know he's an interim yeah. in 2017, but just, you know, what was that transition like with the new coach coming in? Were there maybe any thoughts about ever leaving? Because I know a lot of players then did mm -hmm. because it's like, I didn't come here to play for Coach yeah. Chadwell. I came here to play for Coach Moglia. Was there ever a thought, you know, through your mind of maybe, you know, mm -hmm. it's best for me to go somewhere else? Uh, for me, it really was never a thought of leaving, man. And, and it wasn't so much of a change, man. It's so much of uh, the guys that I came with, come, came in with, man. I know that I couldn't, you know, just leave that foundation that we had already built. Um, so, you know, when Coach Will Chad Wildham came in, man, you know, it kind of was like, man, you know, we've been with Coach Mo, it's going to be different. Uh, I know sometimes change scares people. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, I was a little like, man, you know, it's going to be something different. Uh, but I just took it on, you know, as a little bit of adversity. Um, you know, during that whole process, man, I was talking to my uncle. Uh, he a pastor. He kind of, you know, mentored me throughout the whole thing. Um, so, you know, I, I think I definitely made the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, you coming in here as a young man, you know, under recruited and everything, just where do you think are some of the main aspects where you grew, not only here on the field, because obviously put up ridiculous numbers and you have the opportunity that you have for a reason, but maybe off the field in some ways that you grew over the years here at Coastal? Um, I think the biggest uh, thing is, you know, giving back. Uh, I definitely feel like I've grew it in, uh, from that standpoint, man. Um, I kind of realized, you know, how big it is to give back. You know, you got a lot of guys looking up to you back home and, and all these things and, you know, in your community, a lot of people looking up to you. So I, I kind of realized, you know, the, the greatness of that, you know, in part, you know, my roommate C.J. Brewer uh, is a guy that, you know, we used to always go out doing stuff. We did a Night to Shine event. Uh, we used to go cater to the homeless. Uh, we fed the homeless uh, sometimes. Um, just little stuff like that, giving back to the community, man, because at the end of the day, man, uh, God blessed us with this talent. And then, too, I mean, you get to go to school here on the beach, so I know there's not too much <laughs> to hate about it, but just, yeah. you know, take me through, you know, some of your favorite moments. You've been here for five years. Obviously, you know, you were able to fortunately get your degree and everything. Just take me through some of those favorite moments, you know, both on the field. I know you got to cap off your career with a great mm -hmm. season, but maybe off the field as well. Okay, yeah, for sure, man. Um, I definitely have to say one of one of my top moments definitely is when I graduated. 
Um, put in a lot of sweat and tears, man, to get that degree. A lot of sleepless nights, man. A lot of these guys know, man. Uh, my major was really rough for me, so I had to grind out or not, man. So getting that, um, you know, so honestly, some of the, the worst moments that I experienced here, some of the best, honestly, some of the conditioning and stuff we did. We talk about it all the all the time, man. Me and the guys. Uh, that summer when Coach Scott them got here, man, they ran us in the dirt, man. They ran us so much, we lifted. Uh, you know, but it, it mentally took us to another level as a team. Um, you know, we just kept building off of that. You know, you kind of seen the results of that last year. But definitely that, you know, and then going into this season, be, me being a senior, um, you know, the season we had, man, you know, I always thank all the guys, man, because you can't really can't ask for another way to go out. Um, you know, beating Louisiana the, was the first game that I feel like um, really is a key moment uh, for the season last year, one that I'm always going to remember. And then going in the app, you know, a team that's always been the top of the yeah. conference, you know, uh, and knocking them off, man, and then to top it off, you know, beating BYU. Uh, you know, all those were, were definitely key moments. And to be a part of, you know, the, the program's transition to that next step here at this level, man, just how fortunate are you to have been a part of this process? Because you came in in the transition year. You've been here all the way through, you know, to where the team is now with the success. Just how fortunate are you to have been a part of that? Oh, man, I'm blessed, man. It, I feel like it gives you uh, a, a greater satisfaction when you see it, you know, grow from the bottom. Like I tell the guys, man, when I first came here, man, like none of this stadium was here. Like this little piece on the outside, the connection, the top part, none of it was here, man. You know, so I was here uh, kind of when first uh, Coastal first got started. And, um, you know, I definitely feel like it's a blessing that I got to see everything through. Um, you know, I feel like now they're just going to keep building, man. They're only going to get better from here. But it, was, it, feel, it, it makes me feel better to know that I was that stepping stone uh, for them to get there. And just describe your relationship with Coach McGee. I know you guys have to be pretty tight. Obviously, every coach and player in their position, Coach, you <laughs> yeah. have that special bond. Just describe the bond you have with Coach McGee. Man, our, our bond is amazing, man. I call, I call Coach McGee whenever, you know, if I ever have a problem or something like that. Um, and I definitely feel like that's something with all the coaching staff uh, here that we have at Coastal. Uh, you know, they're very family-oriented. Uh, but McGee, man, he's a guy that took me to another level uh, coming in. Uh, Coach McGee told me he really wanted to work on my hands, uh, get me more flexible and stuff like that. Uh, told me to take yoga. Um, you know, started working with me in, in different stuff to really improve my game, man. You know, um, he's a big, huge factor on, on why I'm the person, the, the, the athlete that I am now. Uh, so, you know, I got to thank Coach McGee for that, man. And let's go back to December, you know, right after the bowl game, a heartbreaking loss, obviously, but still that doesn't diminish what you guys were able to accomplish. You know, what ultimately led to the decision because you know a lot of your you know mm. teammates decided to come back for one last ride just what ultimately led to that decision for Teron Jackson saying hey it's best for me to go and go to the next level and you know take my chance and hopefully get that shot yeah man um I have to say I prayed about it a lot um honestly I, I did have some thoughts on coming back you know that that kind of left a bit of taste in my mouth man I felt like you know the job wasn't done yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, kind of wearing my options, seeing that I had the senior bowl invite and other stuff like that, man. You know, talking to uh, God and family, I felt like it was the best decision for me to come out now. And you mentioned the senior bowl and, you know, every um, – and the training. Just what would, would you say are some of the main benefits of that? You know, having that opportunity at the senior bowl, really showing off your versatility. I mean, everybody was so surprised <laughs> when we saw you at 3 Tech. Yeah. Just take me through that experience and really just being around, you know, the NFL coaching and all this talent because – you're not playing against that kind of talent every weekend in the Sun Belt. I know there's yeah. talent at the conference, but you got power five guys, you know, all around you just yeah. being around that talent and in, in that atmosphere. Just how do you think that really benefited you? I definitely feel like uh, it benefited me, especially from a culture standpoint, kind of getting the feel for, uh, you know, NFL coaching, um, you know, and getting to compete with some of the greatest guys, you know, uh, in the nation, quite frankly. Um, you know, so I, I hit a little adversity with, with playing D tackle, man, but, you know, that's why I looked at it. Uh, opportunity to learn more about a new position and get better. Uh, so I definitely feel like I did that, man, and I feel like it was, it was just a great opportunity to get better and show teams uh, that I'm coachable and that, you know, each and every day I'm, I'm going to be the guys that are going to come out, you know, and work uh, and improve his craft. And take me through the rigors of the training as well, because I know you went to a really highly yeah. coveted facility in Michael Johnson Performance out in Texas. Just being able to train there and have that experience. And take me through some of the rigors and really kind of any points where you maybe down during the training. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Um, you know, it's a long training process. Uh, you go from training uh, four days a week here to training six days a week. So, um, you know, definitely had to take care of your body a lot more. Uh, but the stuff that we did, man, you know, it was amazing, man. You know, once they, they work you out, you know, you're tired and stuff, they give you the right meal, they portion out your food sizes, um, they do all kind of recovery stuff, you know, kind of that, that I didn't see here, you know. Um, so that, that definitely took me to another level. Uh, I definitely see my body change in ways that I haven't seen uh, while I was here, man. Um, not from a workout standpoint, but just from a, a eating standpoint. Um, 
but you know definitely it was a great facility to go to and you know now the draft coming up next week just what are some who are some of the teams that you've heard from and maybe some of the main feedback you've gotten because obviously here at pro day you mm -hmm. shut off your versatility as an outside linebacker senior bowl getting that experience obviously we know your natural position is defensive end just what's some of the main feedback and just give me a count on how many teams you have heard from up to this point oh yeah so you know at the senior bowl i talked to all the teams you know after the senior bowl uh, i had probably talked to like seven or eight teams and then since my pro day uh, i've talked about um, 10 teams. Um, you know, the feedback's kind of been the same. You know, they love my tape. Uh, they felt like I had a solid pro day. Uh, you know, they just telling me, you know, to keep working. Um, you know, whenever the opportunity comes, you know, uh, a lot of them say that they want to pick me up. Uh, but just make sure I'm doing, you know, outside linebacker work or DN work. Uh, sometimes I talk to them, you know, I send some drills and stuff. Uh, but the main point has been, the, the main thing they've been saying, you know, uh, was, has been positive for the most part. And just describe your NFL pitch. You know, what kind of guy, what kind of player are NFL teams getting into Ron Jackson? Uh, they're going to get a relentless player, man. They're going to get a guy that, you know, earns everything. Uh, I kind of, I feel like uh, my tape and everything up to this point has shown that um, you're going to get a guy that's going to do the extra, go the extra mile, you know, going to be at a facility extra time studying. You're going to get a guy that's going to work on his, beat on his craft every day, man. You're going to get a guy now that doesn't have to worry about school, man, you know, and the pressure that that put on him. Uh, so it's going to be 100% football. Uh, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a big impact. And you have a lot of guys that have come before you here at Coastal. You know, there's a long list of guys for such a new program that have been able to make the league. Just have you been in touch with any of them? And what have those conversations been like? Oh, yeah, man. I, I talked to a lot of guys, man. Um, two guys in particular, is Tony Chesley and uh, uh, D'Angelo Henderson, man. Those two guys have really helped me throughout this process. Uh, I called Hop Hopkins. I, actually, the main reason that I went to Michael Johnson, man, he had such high uh, reviews uh, for the facility, and I definitely made the right decision there. Uh, and Tony, man, you know, when, even when he was here, man, that's always been my guy, man. Uh, if I needed anything, not just with football, but with life, man, or, you know, if I'm down or mentally, you know, down or anything like that, he's always kind of been that guy, uh, you know, to give me some good knowledge. And you have another teammate going through this process with you, obviously, and C.J. Marable, just what have those conversations been like between the two of you guys leading uh, up to this point? Man, the conversations have been amazing, man. The thing with, about us two, man, is just we're, great, we're grateful that we're going to have this opportunity. Um, you know, just making sure that both of us are grinding and being accountable for each other, man. We call, I call them all the time. Uh, you know, you working. Uh, you know, what you did today, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure that both of us are doing what we need to do. Um, but at the end of the day, man, just, just really taking in the moment, uh, the opportunity that we have right now. And just, I mean, you mentioned the moment. Just describe this, man. I mean, just what emotions have you been feeling, you know, these past few months? Because this is something that not everybody gets to experience. Yeah, man. It's, it's been, you know, such pure excitement, man. Um, growing up, you know, watching the NFL on the TV, man, even watching college. I tell the guys, man, college was the first dream that I had, you know, and, and to fulfill that. And now to have this opportunity, man, it's a blessing. You know, I thank God that, that he gave me the talents to be able to do this. Something you might not pay attention to, but... um. What would you say has, what have you seen as your latest uh, draft grade? Um, I'm a lot latest great draft grade from what I'm hearing from my agent and everything has been uh, uh, fourth round to early fifth round. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then two, um, I guess I know we talked about it a little bit before, but just when you get that, that first paycheck, because NFL money, it hits a little different. We've yeah. seen that just, you know, <laughs> what are some of the main things that you would spend that money on um, once you are able to get that opportunity? Yeah, like I say, man, my first check, man, I'm probably not going to spend it, man. I'm going to yeah. save it. Um, but once I get to the point that I'm financially stable enough, man, I'm going to buy my mom a house. This will be the first thing by far that I do. Um, you know, growing up, that's always been my dream, man, you know, to kind of take her from where she's at. Uh, she's worked so hard, you know, for me, my whole yeah. life, giving me stuff, sacrificing for me, man, and, and for me to be able to pour back into her, uh, you know, and my pops and some of my other family members, uh, that's going to be a blessing. And lastly, is there anything you want to add to the, you know, the Coastal Faithful, all your supporters, and even one last NFL pitch? Oh, yeah, man. I, for, for one, I just want to say thank you to everybody at Coastal, man. Um, first of all, thank you to Coach Mo for giving me this opportunity to come here. Uh, and thank you to the coaching staff, everybody that's helped me throughout this, man. And even the trainers, man. Josh, we joke all the time. Uh, he helped me through many injuries, man, and, you know, kept me mentally stable through a lot of stuff. So thank you to everybody, man, the coaches, the players. Uh, you know, I tell CJ, man, what I CJ, Trey, Jeff, all those guys, man that I compete with every day uh, I know I couldn't be what I am now so thank you to all those, all those guys uh, and to whatever NFL te team that gets me man you know you're gonna get the hardest work on the field um, you're gonna get a guy that's gonna excel awesome man I always appreciate your time yes sir thank you